Okay, so we're going to learn more about harness racing. We're going to give you a couple different angles. I am with Mike Webkenberg, and he's with Webkenberg Starting Gates, and he starts the races. And then we've got Tim McNarski. He's with Dark Horse Syndicate Racing with Apple Hill. They're going to show us how this harness racing goes. And Mike, thanks very much for coming today. Uh, it's my privilege. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're in the starting gate. So how do you get these horses all ready to go? Well, uh, they all know what we're doing. We've got to get this all ready to get a fair and equal start by everybody. And when there's six to eight horses, in here it can be quite a job but we do 4,000 races a year so therefore it's relatively easy all right so how fast do you go to get these horses we're ready we're going to be running 35 mile an hour when we play that fast on the oh yes ma'am well how fast are these horses going well they're going to be running they'll be running 30 to 35 depending on quality of course and then they uh oh uh, the, the most the most exciting thing about how these horses are is that so you they, just shut the gate just oh, now yeah. so they know to go oh yeah Okay. Is that they fly through the air. Oh. And, and the public doesn't see that, but they literally fly through the air. And you have to understand what fantastic equine athletes they are. They're going 30 mile an hour. They're pulling some guy in a cart, and they can go 30 mile an hour, fly through the air. That is amazing, isn't it? Okay, so this is your business, and oh, yes, you you have these starter gates going everywhere, don't you? Yes, ma'am. We've been very, very lucky. I've been able to sell them all over the world. Uh, and that's just a neat thing to be able to do something like that and have that kind of respect from the people. Right, yeah. All right, so uh, you're important because you shut the gate and stuff, but your driver must be an important part, too. Yes, ma'am, because what the public doesn't understand, we're going down the racetrack uh, 30, 35 mile an hour with anywhere from six to 9,000 pounds of horse glue to us. I'm uh. sitting backwards with the accelerator, and all Becky's got the steering wheel. <laughs> That's pretty interesting stuff. All right, so you've started the races, so now let's go to Jeff. Jeff, you're going to be with Tim, and he's going to tell us more about what it's like to have a horse and going through the race. All right, Tim McNarski is with us. You saw him riding up here on the horse. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Thank good you. Thank you for having me. Well, you are from a Dark Horse Syndicate Race. We were just talking about this a little bit. I feel like harness racing is as big as it's ever been, isn't it? Absolutely. With the influx of the money from the racinos yeah. and things like that, there's a lot of new people getting involved, and that's why we formed Dark Horse. We wanted the opportunity for people that are interested in buying small portions and an inexpensive amount of money to get involved with us. Well, tell us how that works because our own Holly Gaiman, has a little piece of the horse we just saw. Right? I keep saying I'm trying to explain it to people, but you can do it better. So than absolutely, you can. what what we're trying to do is we basically buy a horse and then we more or less make it into a certain amount of shares. And there's a certain value assigned to each share. And then depending on the number of shares you have, is how much you pay per month for the upkeep and things like that. And then, good part about it is any money that we win proportionally how many shares you own is how much you get back. Holly loves it, right? I love it. I think it's cool. And I always say on the tip of the ear, not the bottom part of the horse. <laughs> so that's Apple Hill, the one we own. So, I mean, it's really cool. And it's intense for you, though. I mean, there's a lot of work for you to train these horses and get things ready, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, I mean, it's 365 days a year. We may miss one or two days when it's cold in the winter, but mostly they're an athlete and they need to get out of their stalls and we're exercising them and, and basically get them out of here at the All Glaze County Fairgrounds and racing almost every day. You know, we were talking about that, too, because we'll see you guys going around doing prep it's somebody said it's almost like a dog you got to run them get the energy out absolutely so, yeah. horses are, are creatures of habits and and basically they're athletes so yeah. and we keep them in their stalls 23 hours a day so we're looking to, to get them out and exercise them certainly yeah what's what's the key when you're racing uh, do you have strategies or does it depend on the field or what, uh, and a lot of that is uh, the field a lot of it is post position the quality of the horse things of that nature so Again, we, we look at a program, we look at a bunch of numbers, but there's a lot more that's involved with it. And we encourage people to come out and visit us, get to know the horse, get to know the, the nuances behind how, how these horses are trained and, and how we basically look to try to race them. Yeah. And harness racing is kind of picking up now, right? It uh, is. Explain that. It is. I mean, uh, uh, from a perspective with the racinos and the money and the influx from that, we've been able to uh, um, buy better horses. We're putting money back into the into the facilities we're looking to get more people involved i mean in the uh what we think is that over the next year ohio will basically be the biggest state as far as breeding standard breads are concerned in the country wow. and we had lost that prior to yeah. some of that and and uh i mean ultimately we're looking to try to do everything we can to bring new people in the sport and we invite you to come out we invite you to to come out, pet the horses, go to the racetrack, starter Mike's got the horse. I say Mike can do everything. Mike, how many races do you do a year, do you think? We do right at 4,000 a year, which is more than anybody in the country. Oh 4,000? You guys are all over the country? Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You have to hit the road. you got to be more than just Ohio. Well, we were in Lisbon yesterday. Okay. Sunday, we were in Eaton, as far west as you can go. And yesterday, we last two days, we've been in Lisbon as far east as you can go. So... 
Do you sometimes forget where you're at? On, on uh, yeah, sometimes, day? yeah. <laughs> sometimes we just look, we look at our steak sheet, and we say, hey, here we go, and we Google it, and away we go. Today so. we're in Wapak. we got to remember <laughs> yeah, that. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, if you're somebody like Holly that wants to get involved and, in, in a sense, invest in, in what you talked about, what's the first step in that? So you can either, uh, we have a website, Dark Horse okay. Syndicate Racing, or I have a Facebook page, Tim Ignarski, or Pete Hireman is, is a financial advisor, and or come visit us out here at the Old Glaze County yeah. Fairgrounds. We're here okay. usually from 4 to 6 at night All right. and on Saturdays and Sundays we're here from 9 to 12. Okay, okay. thanks Tim. Thank thanks, you. Mike. Thank you all for watching. Thank Have you. a great day. Brought to you